Hello, everybody. Today, I'd like to show everybody how to enter in various scouting activities by using Scoutbook. I want to show you how you can track your camping log, your hiking miles, and all your community service hours. So why would you want to enter in your camping activities? Well, first, it really helps you fulfill all the different rank requirements, whether it's tenderfoot, second class or first class. Every time you go for an overnight camping trip, you really should be logging them in to Scoutbook. For the last couple of years, I've been entering in everybody's activities, but now I wanna turn uh, that ownership over to the Scouts. The other reason you want to enter in your camping nights is to complete the Camping Merit Badge. You have to be able to prove that you have spent at least 20 nights of camping. And lastly, in order to be eligible for the Order of the Arrow, you have to be able to prove that you've completed at least 15 camping nights. Let's talk about hiking activities. This also fulfills rank requirements for second class, where you have to show you've taken a five mile hike. The hiking merit badge has a variety of log entries that you must complete so you can prove that you've taken the five mile, the 10 mile, as well as the 15 and 20 mile hike. All this will be accomplished through Scoutbook. And lastly, for those of you that want to complete the backpacking merit badge, you also have to show a certain amount of miles that you have completed. Service hours are also important. As our troop, we are very, very committed to community service hours, and you might as well get credit for those service hours. From starting in your entire journey to Eagle Scout, you will complete, you will be required to complete at least 24 hours of service, not including your Eagle Scout project. So if you look at Tenderfoot, second class, first class, every single rank, Starting at Tenderfoot requires you to prove and to enter in your community service hours. For your citizenship in the community merit badge, you have to be able to show that you completed at least eight hours of service. And then your Eagle Scout project, those hours are determined by each scout and it's an individual uh, preference on how long your Eagle Scout will take. So let me show you quickly how you will enter in these various activities in Scoutbook. First, you'll log into your Scoutbook account. And depending on how you set up Scoutbook, you may have to start at clicking My Dashboard. Then you'll click on My Account, but the ultimate goal is for you to get to where it says My Activity Log. By clicking on My Activity Log, you will automatically launch from your browser Internet Advancement, a new cloud-based tool that you may not have seen. Some of our scouts are already inputting their camping nights. But in the Internet Advancement on the top right, you will see the three sections for Activity Log, camping, hiking, and service hours, and all the different hours that I have already input for you. You can input all your different hours for your different activities, but at the end of the day, I have to be able to approve every single activity as your Scoutmaster and Mr. Mark for Troop 7 will approve those activities. So let's go and do a quick demonstration where Mr. Owen and Trevor are going to navigate how they input some of their uh, activity logs. Okay, and now we're going to have Trevor Jiang show us how to enter in the activity log in Scoutbook. So you can see Trevor is in Scoutbook right now under his My Account. He's going to scroll down 
and is simply going to click on My Activity Logs. When he clicks on my, the My Activity Log, a new tab in your browser is going to launch called Internet Advancement. What you'll see is you'll see all of your rank requirements and everything that you've already completed, but on the right side of the screen, you'll see the activity logs, camping, hiking, and service hours. If for some reason, Internet Advancement says, oh, we have errors loading or something, you can simply go to the left of your left side of your browser and just hit refresh, okay? And that sometimes will trigger. If not, you can come back at a, at a later date. So in this instance, Trevor has some service hours he wants to log in. But before he can also, before he logs them in, he can also see all the service hours he has logged in previously. In fact, as I said in my presentation, I've been logging them in. Now it's your turn. So those are all the things that I have logged in on behalf of um, Troop 2 and Troop 7. So now Trevor is going to take ownership of putting in his activity log, and he's going to go to the right side and say, create a activity log for service project. You can see the registered youth on the right is Trevor. He's now going to scroll over to the date where he did the service project the start date, and he's going to hit create. So a new screen will come up and they will ask you some questions. What's the project name? Do your best. Make something that makes sense. Like, for instance, I say church service project. If you did some uh, conservation project with your patrol, you could say Crab Cove or anything that you did. Beach cleanup. So his project started on the 18th, and when did it end? He's gonna type that in, or he's gonna click it in. So he did it over five days, but it wasn't an all day event. So he's gonna uncheck all day, and we will say, when did I start? So I started at nine o'clock every day in the morning, and then I ended at about 1 p.m. If you have different activity logs, that ended and started at different times, you may have to create three or four different activity logs. So now Trevor's gonna type in the location. So where was this? Scoutbook or Internet Advancement wants you to type in the address of where it was, so find out where that is. Where is this located? What city? What's the address line? So this was an Alameda, and that was in California, and uh, the zip code. So Internet Advancement also wants to know, was this project as part of an Eagle Scout? And in this case, it was not. It was not an Eagle Scout project. What type of project was it? Was it conservation? Uh, did you do some military service? Did you do some food serving of people? Sometimes you can just say other service, or if you did a beach cleanup, you can call it conservation. Now we need to know what you did. And this is where Trevor is going to type in exactly what he did. So here, he, this is where you can say my patrol went in and cleaned up. He attended two hours of training, and then he successfully completed a whole bunch of different activities that helped our community and our planet. Scrolling down, it doesn't automatically fill in how many hours. So we're just going, he, he did the calculation and he's going to type in 24.5. And this is going, if, you, if he scrolls up a little bit, you'll see that the registered youth on the right side of the screen is Trevor. He's, he is doing it for himself. And now we can scroll down. So each individual in your patrol will have to do that if you were to do a beach cleanup. Or you can um, call on me and say, hey, can you enter all of our um, patrol in there? And if time permits, I'll do it for you. At this time, he'll hit the green button and he will complete this activity. And now you can see he's got church service projects, scouting for food, scouting for food, and he is now 
typed in or created an activity called Vacation Bible School that is pending my approval. You can see on the right side, there's double checks for approval and one check for pending approval. So I may have a conversation with Trevor and say, tell me a little bit more, and then I will approve it on my end. Now, at any point, you can go back. So Trevor's just going to hit the back key, and he can similarly put in hiking log. So if you're working on the hiking merit badge, you can put that in, or what you're going to use this for is the camping log. Because as I said in the prior presentation, you need to show that you have 20 camping nights. You need to be able to prove you have 20 camping nights in order to get the camping merit badge. So very easily, Trevor can hit the camping uh, icon there, and you can see all of the logs that I have entered in. You can now look at your scout handbook and say, wow, Mr. Rock forgot a bunch. I need to enter them. Remember, you can go back at any time and say, oh, I did a camping night on in July of 2021. You can go backward. I will have to approve it. So very easily, same process. Trevor's just going to hit the create button. He's going to um, put in the dates when he, uh, he completed the camping. So he's going to put in Friday and he's going to say create. Where did he go? Let's say he went to New Scout Camp Out. All right, so he's going to type in, this was the New Scout Camp Out. It started on the 12th, but it ended on the Sunday, as in all of our camp outs. Our camp outs start Friday, they end, but it wasn't an all day event, right? So we started at um, on Friday at, let's say, six, seven o'clock. He can type all of that in when he arrived, when he left, all of that stuff. So if you came in just for a day trip, this does not count as a camping night. When it really, this camping log is about how many nights have you slept over? So let's just scroll down. We're not going to put in location and all that. You have to as scouts, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna skip that. We're going to need the camp out details. You know, I, I went to the New Scout camp out. I, we did a whole bunch of requirements. We did all this great stuff. Okay. How many days did he spend? Well, we show up on a Friday. We leave on a Sunday. So it's not really three full days. So please type in two days. If you came in on a Friday and you came in on a Sunday, even if you come in on a Saturday and Sunday, Actually, if you come in on a Friday and you leave on a Sunday, it's two days. If you come in on a Saturday, then you got to put one day of camping. The days are not as important as the nights you slept over. So Trevor came in Friday night, slept Friday night, slept Saturday night. So that's two nights of camping. And since this was summer, there are no frost points. We already discussed that. And if, and if he was complete, he would just hit the complete activity and that log would now be complete. But this was a fictitious uh, exercise to show you about entering your, in your camping logs. So in summary, at any moment or any time after a service project, after a hike, you can enter in your activity logs on your own. I will no longer be putting in for each troop. It, it will now become your responsibility to enter in camping, hiking, and service hours by following this demonstration. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I'm always there to, to coach you. So Trevor, thank you so much uh, for being my uh, role model on this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. I'm sure you have some other questions. So we covered this briefly in the video, but you want to enter in the proper camping nights. It's the camping nights is what really counts. So if you come on a Friday night and you stay all the way till Sunday afternoon, you're really inputting two days and two nights. Because Friday, you're not really there all day, and Sunday, we're not really there all day. But the nights is what really counts. So if you come on a Saturday and leave on a Sunday, well, guess what? You're going to input one night of camping and one day of camping. In the video, you may have seen where it says frost points, and that is really 
you're receiving one point for every degrees below 32 Fahrenheit that we camped at. And when we go snack, snow camping, you do, the temperature does fall below 32. But we don't really track them, so no need to input anything on frost points. Can I enter in my previous camping logs from six months, a year ago, that are logged in my scout book? Clearly, yes. Once again, you have to be able to prove you were there. Can't just make up any dates, okay? And I will verify them and then I will approve them. And can adults, adult leaders, enter their own activities? Clearly, yes, but you have to be an adult leader, not just a parent, because you don't show up in scout book in that, in that way. So some of the key points that I want you to remember is I want you to track your activities starting immediately. All scouts should be doing that. And it counts for your rank requirements, your merit badges and order of the arrow eligibility. And you're going to input all of that after you come back from the camping trip or after you've done your hike or after you've completed your service hours. But again, it's up to you to doing it. And you just simply have to use scout book to enter in your activity logs. So don't cheat yourself, take advantage of what's there and it's really, really easy as you saw in the demonstration. So your challenge is clear. Keep scout book up to date with all your activities. Don't delay. Some of you are going to look at your camping log and say, wow, I'm missing a few nights. And that's okay, but starting today, don't procrastinate. Own your own scouting experience. And I want to thank you for listening. You know where to contact me. So if you run into any difficulties, please contact me or Mr. Mark and we'll make sure everything works out for you. Thank you.